Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing this all-in-one quick builder nail tip and glue set by Born Pretty. They sent this to me over the weekend and I cannot wait to dig into this little tiny box to see what kind of surprises it has in store for us. So what do you say? Shall we try another tip kit and see how it compares to all the rest? Let's go. Okay, so like I said, Born Pretty sent this to me this weekend. I didn't even know that they had a tip kit. It is available on Amazon and I will have everything linked down below and all the pricing information up on screen for you guys. So I am just gonna go ahead and open this right up. So right on top, you get a little foil, looks like an instruction manual, those little like French tip guides. We've got what looks like to be a little chrome powder. Then you have your lamp which looks very much like the, all the lamps that we get in these kits. And then we have our six in one nail glue. It doesn't say what it can be used for, but I will check on the website and get back to you on that. And then we've got a bag full of tips. Now, I did already peek, clean up on aisle seven. I did already peek into this bag. So the one thing that I find extremely interesting about this kit is that these are not sizes of tips in all these bags. These are styles. So you get like six different styles of nails. So you've got your half cover tip in like a coffin style. You've got a half cover XXL square. You've got a full cover uh, long coffin. You've got what looks like a medium coffin. You've got what looks to be like a long coffin half cover. And then you've got another half cover coffin, which these look kind of the same here. So maybe you get two of everything, I think. So that is in and of itself, like insane to me. And then more of the squares. So yeah, so you get two of each style and that's five styles, which is just crazy. Like I've never seen anyone do that before. And I think there were like 10 sizes. So the only thing that stinks is that like you have to look at each nail to pick out your size and it's right on the tip like most nail tips. They are not pre-etched or anything like that. And I guess, I mean, I've never seen anyone use a half cover tip with this glue before, but like, I mean, why not? If you can use super glue, right? So, oh my gosh, like what style am I going to choose? I'm kind of feeling like the square half cover tips, but I've never done a half cover with this glue before and it's hard enough with regular glue. So I think that just for the sake of giving you like the best instruction, I think I'm gonna go with like this medium coffin style here. I know it's kind of hard to see. So I think that's the one that I'm gonna use today, but that's really, really cool. Let me go ahead and just check something on Amazon because I wanna make sure that I get all of the best info. There's not really anything in this little user manual. So give me one sec. Okay, so on Amazon, this is called the Born Pretty Nail Tips and Glue Gel Kit with five shapes and 236 pieces. They're obviously all clear. And this is your six in one nail gel and you get your little free gift of chrome powder. We have, okay, so we have like deep sea coffins, which is this one. And then this one is called a coffin extreme, which I think just means it's very long. And then you have the ballerina medium, and then you've got your super extreme square, a medium coffin size for that. So this gel, they say that it can be used as a base gel, extension gel, nail glue, nail strengthener, watercolor gel, and top coat. I know these things all claim to be the same thing. It's just a builder gel. Like that's what you're using to attach the tips. I mean, let's be real here. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm trying to see if there's any sort of like specific instructions. It just kind of says prep your nails, which I've already done. Apply the glue 
and the tip and cure. So what I like to do, I'm just gonna clean up real quick and then I will get everything like set. So I just took off my old gel and lamp and I mean, they're literally the same exact thing. They have four bulbs on the underside. I'm trying to pull this as far as I can, but I'm using the cord that goes to my um, gel and lamp because they gave us a really like tiny cord again. Like McCart did this too. And it's like, I don't know who, unless you have like an extension cord or something like that, like you would not be able to use this on a desk. Like my outlet is literally right in front of me, but like on the wall on the floor, like towards the ground, I should say. And this is not gonna reach. So I'm not gonna use their cord, but I mean, I'm going to assume that this is literally the exact same lamp so it should be fine for me to use i'm gonna be working on my right hand today now one thing that they do not tell you to do is to etch the inside of the nails i'm definitely going to do that and i'm also going to grab some primer and dehydrator i don't know why these companies don't suggest to use these things like in their instructions but you definitely should for like maximum adhesion so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pick out my sizes and etch them i gotta plug in my big lamp too so i don't know how many like sizes come in here but i don't think it's that much so all right, let me do that. I'll be back in a, a whistle, if you will. Okay, so I'm just using my e-file to etch inside. Yes, you can use primer, but I prefer to use the etching method because I think that it makes my nails last a lot longer. Um, in comparison to other nails, first of all, let's talk about the price. I just had to refresh my memory because I forgot how much it costs. This kit is only $16.99. So in terms of other kits similar to this, it's got a leg up like right there. I mean, an instant leg up. It's the cheapest kit I think so far that I've tried out and I think it's unique in the sense that it gives you a bunch of different styles to try. I'm sorry that I'm trying coffin that I always do but I'm a little scared to try the half cover tips. I kind of want to try that square out at one point but I kind of would have to practice with that before I try to do it with this gel. Okay, so then I just give them a little brush to get any excess dust out of there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my nails. I just have been using the swipe from Young Nails lately. I got this off of Amazon after watching several of like their nail tutorials and heard them talking about it. And I've been liking it so far. It definitely like dehydrates your nails. I mean, you can see like instantly as it dries like how your nails dry up so you know that it's doing something but i like to add an additional dehydrator which this is not dehydrator so let me just okay sorry i grabbed a peel off base coat which i definitely do not want that right now oh my gosh that would be bad okay Ugh. so i just have a dehydrator so this middle finger on uh, my last nail set, the one that I had for vacation, I had used half cover tips and the nail lifted and bent all the way to where the attachment was, like the tip was, but the tip was still glued down and wouldn't come off. So it literally bent my fingernail and like the fingernail just split down the middle and came off eventually. It hurt really, really bad. I just kept like knocking this finger into stuff. Like, I don't know what was going on like but either way the nail broke off i mean it's basically all the way back to where the hyponychium is there's no like bruising or redness or anything like that so i feel like it's fine to put a tip on obviously when something like that happens like use your own judgment you know if you feel like you shouldn't put a tip on then don't put a tip on but i think that it's fine it's not hurting i'm not in any pain or anything like that so i think i will be okay but I like to keep my nails pretty short anyways when I do these kinds of extensions because I don't like my nails to show underneath and they have been growing pretty fast lately so I just cut all my nails and filed them down really really short just ignore the right hand I have not prepped her yet she's going to be used in a different video so something that the instructions did not say to do was to apply a layer of this to your nails I always do this again I think it helps in adhesion so I always apply a thin layer of their gel to my nails especially when you're using a curved nail you kind of need to build up your natural nail to like 
fit that curve or substantiate that curve, my god, I'm a mess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a thin layer, maybe one more, depending on how that curve looks underneath, like on top of my nail. I kind of base it on that. Like if it looks like there's a really big gap between the nail and my natural nail, I may do like one or two coats of the gel just to substantiate that. Because if you have any air bubbles, then the nails are going to lift, okay? Okay. And then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. It doesn't say how long to cure, but I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. That's typically the normal time to cure gels like this in a UV LED lamp. So I'm gonna do that. I may do one more coat and then we'll come back to attach the tips. All right, so before we go ahead and put these on, I figured I would go ahead and just do a little comparison between the tips that are in this kit and the Apre and Kiara Sky. Because let's face it, when we're buying these inexpensive kits, we are trying to find something that replicates a more expensive product. So in comparison to Apre, it's probably a much easier comparison because they're the same shape. So it's easier to look at and, you know, kind of see what we're looking at. As far as the C curve goes on this, Apre is definitely much taller. Let me try to get this more. There we go. So you can kind of see this goes way up. The C curve at the end, I would say, is pretty much the same. Sorry, I'm trying to get like a really good image here for you. There we go. That's pretty much the same. As far as like strength goes, I mean, oh, hold on. I mean, a prey definitely feels stronger to me, but not by much. And as far as back here, the bend on this is very strong. And the bend back here, earlier I felt, it felt pretty good. It definitely bends more than a prey, but less than some other tips that I've used before. So that could be like one of two things. Either it's very strong or it's a little thicker back here. Now, there aren't any claims that these are soft gel tips either. We have had a wild discussion on my channel as to whether that matters or not. To me, I don't care. I don't care if they're soft gel or plastic. I can't tell the difference, to be honest with you. And apparently, there is no difference. According to young nails, they actually took samples of these soft gel tips to their lab to see how they how they could replicate this or to see like what is this product made out of and it's made out of the same thing that's in plastic tips. So soft gel apparently is just like a marketing term to get people to purchase them. Whether you believe that or not, that is what I have gathered from the research that I have done. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me, but if you're charging three times as much for a product that is seemingly the same thing, I'm probably going to buy the more inexpensive product. So as far as Kiara Sky goes, they actually feel about the same, I would say. Now you are looking at, actually, I think there's more give on Kiara Sky, but again, this is a shorter nail. It's a different style of a nail. So it's hard to compare these two together. As far as like the curve on the two, I would say that they are pretty much the same. And let's do the little back test. I am not new doing the line test because a lot of people have complained about that and don't see, just don't really want me doing that anymore. So I would say that Kiara Sky and the Born Pretty ones are like very neck and neck. A prey is a little bit stronger just by a hair though. So well, just say, shall we get these babies on? Now, please don't make fun of me. I'm like working with my left hand here. So someone had, someone had suggested to me that when you go into the lamp, instead of like me trying to go like this way, that I actually either turn the lamp, which is kind of hard on my desk, or kind of go like this. And that has worked out like wonders. So going this way instead of going like front facing. It's so hard to see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I would enter that way. So I'm like holding the tip of the nail and I'm kind of going in sideways rather than trying to go forward. So I'm going to try to do that again today. I did this with my last set and it worked out really well for me. I didn't end up with any crooked nails. So that was a plus. Um, I'm just going to give this like one little wipe down because I think I've touched the inside of these nails. So I just want to wipe them really quickly with some of this swipe. 
but not the whole thing, especially if you're trying to do a clear nail because it'll make it hazy. So just know that. If you are putting primer in your nails or anything, you just want to put it where it's going to be on your nail bed because it will ruin the translucency of the nail. Okay, let's get started. So, I mean, I I'm doing an in-depth review because I feel like some of you haven't seen some of my older videos. So I figured I would just go ahead and do it here. But going forward, I probably am not gonna do another routine like this because I, I have a lot of videos with me putting tips on, so. So I've put it in there, I'm gonna flip it over and I don't put it all the way back to the cuticle just yet. I kind of put it down. Ugh, the pinky's like the hardest one for me on this hand. So I put it down like that. Oh, and I always turn the lamp on before I go in. This one is super hard for me. So I think I'm just gonna go in like face first or tip first. <laughs> it's hard because it's such a tiny little finger. So I just kind of hold it down and I'll take it out after a couple seconds just to make sure it's not crooked because you have like maybe like two seconds where if it's crooked, you can adjust. But if you let it sit there for like 10, 15 seconds, it's fully cured and you have to soak it off. So just know that. And if anything leaks out, you can always take it off with the drill. And then I'll just kind of let it sit there for five more seconds. And then what I do is I'll do like a full cure in my bigger lamp. So I'm just gonna repeat that. I'm gonna keep doing that with all of the nails. I wipe, when I dip into here, I wipe off one side of the brush like really, really well. I'll turn on the lamp, but get this away from the lamp. And then I'll kind of wipe where I want it. And then I kind of take a little excess off the tip of my brush, okay? And then again, I will flip it over and I will press down and then I kind of push the nail back into the cuticle area. And then I try my best to like make sure it's straight. My nails are crooked. I think everyone's nails are crooked. So sometimes it can be hard to line them up perfectly. And if you cut them down and file them, you can almost always hide the fact that a nail is crooked. So if it's not like too bad looking, you can cover it up. So don't worry. All right, so I'm just gonna finish off my hand and then I will come back and kind of just let you guys know what my first thoughts are on this kit. Okay, I've got all the tips on. They feel nice, they feel comfortable, they feel like thick, and they feel like they're on there. Um, let's talk about this glue for a second. It is definitely much thinner than some of the other glues that I have used. And for that reason, I feel like I used a little excess today, so it's kind of peeking out past, you know, my nail. That's fine, that's something that I will get used to. A negative is this little rinky dink cord that they gave me that wouldn't reach my extension. I've had this from a couple different companies. It, it's okay, I, I just don't understand like, like I'll pay a dollar more for a longer cord, like if that's what is needed here, you know? As far as the file, I understand you're trying to conserve space by giving us like a smaller box. So you're gonna give us a little file like this. I don't typically use the files that are in these kits. I use this little one to just file off that little piece that was at the end of the nails, but I wouldn't use it anyways. I do like this little free gift, it's a chrome powder. I don't have enough chrome powder, so I'm kind of excited to see. I may be able to use this in my next video, and it's actually really cute packaging. It, come, it kind of looks like a little diamond, so it's kind of cute. I like it. Um, I hope it's not as dark as this, but I am hoping that I can use it in my next video, maybe to judge some things up. Now, I'm obsessed with the assortment of tips that you get. I am definitely going to try out these super long square and that I'm gonna try doing the half cover with the builder gel because I just want to give that a shot. So honestly, in my opinion, for 17 or 16.99, whatever I said, <laughs> um, I think it's a steal. I think that it is a, a great big deal and I don't think there's very many other kits out there that are, are this um, inexpensive that are as well known. Like Born Pretty is a really well known brand. So I think for them, like I just think they make good products and their prices are like on point. So I am totally fine with using this. The only thing that I'm a little nervous about because this happened with me with the gel and kit is having an allergic reaction because there are no ingredients on anything. 
So that does kind of scare me a bit. I'm going to try to like just test this out and see. I mean, I think it's good. I'm going to like basically file and shape up everything off camera because I will be doing another video with Born Pretty, which is with their one of their polish, ooh, which is with one of their polish sets. So they sent me like a neon polish set to try out. So I'm gonna do like a fun summer look with that. So that'll be like coming out after this video probably. But please do me a favor before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, that's what I do here, I do nails. So go ahead, subscribe, let me know you're gonna stick around for the long haul and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you never miss a Manny with me. Bye guys.